Hockey Zone, this is Gary. Hi, Gary. It's Ashley. Yes. It's Pete and Ashley. From an, I've got my uh, morning show co-host here, Pete, with me, and uh, we've got some questions for you. Hey, Gary. How you doing? Good. Very good. By the way, what is your last name? My name is Gary Hines. Last name is H-I-N-E-S. Good. Just so when we talk to you on the air, we don't just say, here's Gary. Gary. Yeah, we can sound <laughs> like we know what we're talking about. All right. We've got Gary Hines. We're going to talk a little pond hockey this morning on Minnesota's Morning Show. So, Gary, I just want to know, um, like, what do you guys, What it's a tournament going on at Lake George. Is that right? That is correct. What we do is uh, we put together a just an outdoor uh, pond hockey tournament um, at Lake George. Uh, this is going to be our actual uh, fourth event in uh, five years. And, um, yeah, at some point we hope to uh, grow it to include more of the community in terms of, you know, um, other events, not just uh, pond hockey. How many teams are you going to have in the tournament this weekend? Uh, we're thinking it's probably going to be about 20 teams cool. uh, as of right now. So we'll see who all shows up. But, uh, you know, that's the, the latest number we have right now. Well, it helps it's not supposed to be 20 below. Right. Exactly. <laughs> in fact, it might even be a little bit too warm at uh, 13, 38, 37. Yeah. I don't know. He's so, shedding layers. How does someone right. <laughs> How does someone sign up for a team? Do they have to get their own team together? or Do you put them together on teams? Or what's that like? No, uh, typically the way it works is, um, you know, people will put together their own teams. That way they can design the team the way they want. They can, you know, play with their friends. They can make it uh, as, as competitive a team as, as they want or just, uh, you know, a team of uh, buddies getting out to have a good time and playing some pond hockey against teams set up in a similar way. How many uh, guys are on the ice at a time for pond hockey? Is it the same as traditional hockey or fewer? No, it's actually fewer. Um, the adult teams cons- consist of... Uh, six players per team, and the play is three on three uh, during the game. Games are a little bit shorter. Um, Good, because I'd be really minutes. tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's two uh, two fifteen minute halves, and um, yeah, there's uh, on the adult teams there's uh, six players per team, and on the uh, youth players there are youth teams there will be uh, eight players per team. And what do you have like little the little short like one foot kind of boards, or what do you have to keep the puck in? Yeah, they're actually uh, 18 inches high, okay. um, and um, everybody is under the understanding that uh, you know no hoisting, no lifting the puck, and keep it on the ice. Um, and it's uh, the rink size is about 64 feet by 128 feet, so it's a little bit smaller than you know a conventional rink and smaller boards. and And the rules are much more lax. It's it's not uh, as rule intensive. Uh, of uh, regular hockey. Yeah, it's like uh, playing with your friends down, down <laughs> yes, the, on the pond when exactly. you grew up. Exactly. Exactly. So what do they win? Do they get just bragging rights, or is there like some kind of trophy that comes along with this? It, it, well, basically they have the bragging rights, but then we also put uh, the team, each uh, team that wins their division, uh, the plaque will go on to we'll have a little plaque that, that actually is going to um, bolt on, if you will, to our pond hockey trophy. Do you just have one rink on the lake, or are there multiple going on at the same time? There's multiples. We have, uh, we'll have. Uh, we set up four rinks. Uh, we'll start doing that uh, You know, Wednesday morning. We'll start with uh, setting up the rinks. Hopefully we can get uh, two or three done tomorrow, finish up on Thursday, and, and then basically check the ice, and, and uh, hopefully we can uh, make sure the uh, rink ice is good before it gets too warm. Yeah, I know. So all the people that are listening this morning that aren't going to be playing hockey on the lake, uh, what do they need to know about showing up and uh, watching? Uh, what time, times and sort of things? Um, Friday afternoon, we'll probably get started around 5.30 maybe. I have to get the uh, finalized schedule version here, but uh, probably about 5.30 uh, Friday afternoon we get started going until probably 8 or 8.30 Friday night. When we'll start again maybe sometime around 9 in the morning and go until about 6 or 7 at night Saturday. Um, and then Sunday we'll start maybe around 9 a.m. and go until about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Uh, but the event is wide open for the public to come down, and uh, we'll have a heated tent on the ice, and people can either walk into the tent. Uh, there will also be an option to skate into the tent. And uh, we'll have uh, adult beverages and uh, children beverages, food inside the tent, music. So it's a uh, you know, big get-together, big uh, celebration of Minnesota winters. Yeah, it sounds awesome, Gary. And um, we'll pop in and see you at some point over the weekend and enjoy one of the adult so beverages. Cool. And yeah. Ashley's embarrassed to ask. She wants to know if you're going to have Zambonis uh, <laughs> cleaning the ranks. Right? You know, actually, we do have a makeshift Zamboni, but we're not able to give rides. It's uh, yeah. 
It's a uh, rigged up thing I made that I pull behind a four wheeler to try and flood the rings. Oh, that's that's so cool. cool. What we're going to be doing with the being as warm as it's right. He's pushing water around. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, have a great weekend, Gary, and thanks for bringing yeah, us up to so speed. Much. And uh, we'll see you this weekend. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I hope everybody comes down and uh, checks it out.